Here we have five high-end cars that became surprisingly affordable to the average person after having first graced the garages of the uber-rich. If you don't mind hand-me-downs or flossing on a budget, then you've clicked on the right YouTube thumbnail. We even included the pricing range so you can make the right choices in life. So keep watching for the lowdown. Number five, the Land Rover Range Rover Sport 2010. This car is called the Chunky Comfort Cruiser. Did we make that up or what? It's like a person who goes to the gym but only to eat pastries. We definitely made that up. Under the hood, this car has powerful diesel engines, so it's surprisingly quick for its size, like a big hummingbird. And it can definitely handle turns well for a 4x4. Swept at pace and with clear purpose. As a business, we will be focused on value creation, on delivering quality and profit over volume. Now let's talk about the automatic gearbox. It takes a moment to shift gears, like a friend who can't decide what to order at a restaurant. As for the price, you can buy a new one for as much as 75,000 pounds, or find a used one for the cost of a few fancy dinners at about 1,400 euros and upwards, depending on mileage. Uh, and it's creating, to a certain extent, its own segment and defining its own segment, and that's the reason why we believe this car is going to bring a lot of services to, uh, to our customers in India. Whatever the case, it makes you think twice about your spending as you sign the loan papers. But the Range Rover Sport is like a smaller version of a Land Rover. It's made for precise turns and looks good on paved roads. But don't be fooled by its city charm. It can handle tough terrains with its terrain response system. It's like having a car with two sides, normal on the road and rough in the wilderness. Despite being good at off-roading, you'll mostly see these SUVs on the road. And be advised, they might have light steering sometimes, but they're easy to park. Synthesis happen uh, because of their creativity and because of the fantastic link they have with all our engineering worldwide to make a, a great, solid, robust, safe car at the same time. Very modern. Inside, it's as comfy as your grandma's couch, and it got an update in 2009, so it's not old-fashioned like your uncle's record collection. Ultimately, our verdict is a Land Rover Range Rover Sport is like having a pet elephant. It's impressive, can do cool things, but it's expensive to keep, and you need a big yard or wallet. So, if you're thinking about the 5.0 V8 supercharged model, be ready to spend a lot on gas. Talking about infinite wealth or infinite anything, here's one. Number 4. Infiniti Q60 Coupe Review 2016-2018 to The Infiniti Q60 Coupe, also called the Unicorn on Wheels, is a car so rare that it's like seeing Bigfoot, not something you come across every day. It's priced from £33,785 to £46,035, which makes it as hard to find as a needle in a haystack. But it's also incredibly fast, going from 0 to 60 miles per hour in a flash. Why is it so rare? Well, the manufacturer manufacturer says it's not a car for company drivers, and you won't find it at every dealership. The boundaries of Coupe in the sense that we're really trying to lighten the, the sculpture sense, the mass of the car. We want to focus the eye and the, the feeling of center of gravity between the wheels. But if you do find a used one, be prepared to pay between £9,185 and £21,208. Now, let's talk about why this car is so unique. The Q60 has a powerful V6 engine that roars like an energetic bear. It's packed with tech for safety, making you feel super safe when you drive it. However, it's not perfect. It doesn't have a diesel option, and its steering system is a bit unusual. Infinity has a clear expansion strategy involving new models and new markets to make this brand a true global player in the automotive premium segment. However, the Q60 comes with two engine options, a 2.0 liter one that's probably the most common, and a 3.0 liter V6 called the Q60S, which is like the daredevil in the family. Both have a seven-speed automatic gearbox, but the smaller engine is rear-wheel drive, while the bigger one powers all four wheels, great for handling snowy roads. Here's the cool part. The Q60 has a system called Direct Adaptive Steering, or DAS, which is unique, but it takes some getting used to. And there's more. The Q60 has an adaptive suspension, making your rides feel super comfortable. Even the basic models have comfy leather seats that feel like you're floating on a cloud. It also has noise cancellation technology, great for drowning out your kids arguing in the back seat. When it comes to safety, the Q60 is top notch. It can almost drive itself with adaptive cruise control and advanced lane keeping, thanks to the DAS system. It's like having a chauffeur who lets you take the wheel for fun. So if you see the rare Infiniti Q60 on the road, give it away, because it's not just a car, it's 
a legend in the making. Still, another legend from another era, relatively speaking, has to be this next one. Number 3. Chrysler 300C Saloon 2005-2010 The Chrysler 300C, also known as the Hip Hop Royalty Wagon, is a car that really wants your attention. It has a flashy design, like it was created by an artist who paints graffiti. It's tall and has a front grille that looks futuristic. It's also covered in shiny chrome. It costs between £26,445 and £34,038. Forget about the usual sedans, the Chrysler 300C gives you an alternative that's as attention-grabbing as the Benz guys. It got pretty exciting, and working on the exterior trim side of it, the suppliers were excited. So when the whole thing came together, it was it was just phenomenal, just a phenomenal work of art. But it's not just about the looks. This car is well-equipped, roomy, and comfy. It's like driving your living room on wheels. There's a 3.0 liter V6 diesel option that's really fuel efficient. But if you want a powerful engine that roars like a beast, there are the 3.5 liter V6 and 5.7 liter V8 petrol engines. They use more fuel, but they love to party with a full tank. You might find older versions for prices between 1,268 pounds and 4,130 pounds. However, some people might find its design a bit too flashy, so get ready for curious looks while driving. So, if you want a car as bold as a fireworks show and as comfy as your favorite chair, the Chrysler 300C is your ticket to a fancy driving experience. And from a decade earlier or so, we get the Billionaire Boys Club car. Number 2. 1987 Bentley Turbo R The Bentley Turbo R was like the IT car back in 1990. It cost a lot Lot, and people thought it was the best at going really fast, and maybe even good at escaping from tax collectors. Between the price of one of our cars average four years ago and today, only about 9% of that is pricing, the rest is content. So customers are choosing one of the 62 colors, the 43 leathers that we offer. These Turbo R's are now 25 years old, which is like retirement age for a racehorse in car years. Nevertheless, if you find one you're interested in buying, the Turbo R had different versions of automatic gearboxes. The early one with three speeds is simple to master, but the later one with four speeds is like a fancy tool that can do many things, like a Swiss army knife. Just remember, the liquid that helps the transmission work should look clean and pink, and if you hear a strange noise coming from the part of the car that helps it turn, it might mean the car has had some exciting adventures, maybe on a racetrack or a wild night out. There's more uncertainty now than there has been in the last 36 years, and that's driven by a number of factors. Um, first of all, the digitization of the way people uh, live their lives. When it comes to how the car rides on the road, whether it's the regular kind or the fancy kind, the Turbo R should be smooth and graceful, like a ballet dancer on ice. But changing those fancy parts that make it ride smoothly can be really expensive. In summary, owning a Bentley Turbo R is like having a racehorse that also works as a butler. It's a fancy and complicated car that needs a lot of care and expert help. But if you have enough money and a taste for luxury, you can find a used one for around $20,000, which is a good deal compared to paying for a butler. Reminds me of Batman, or is it Iron Man, and his love for Audis, just like this next car. But just before I show you that, please support us by smashing that subscribe button. Number 1. The Audi R8 2007-2016 This car proudly said, I'm not just any Audi, I'm the James Bond of the Audi family. It was a light two-seater with a V8 engine in the middle, four-wheel drive, and performance that could compete with Ferrari and Lamborghini. It was like putting a rocket in your grandma's minivan. Surprising, but a lot of fun. And guess what? This supercar had a hidden talent as the practical supercar. You didn't need to be a superhero to drive it, just a good sense of humor. And therefore, I think it is a big challenge for us, but it is also a nice idea to approach. If people want to be connected and the car should be, let's say, the center control of that. Car enthusiasts quickly realized this car was more than just good looks, although it had those too. It was a high-performance machine in a fancy suit, classy and fast. For those looking for a powerful used car, the Audi R8 is like discovering a unicorn in your backyard. In 2008, they even added a 5.2-liter V10 engine borrowed from the Lamborghini Gallardo. Also, if you loved convertibles, there was the Spider version. 
version. Then in 2012, Audi decided to give the R8 a makeover. They added a seven-speed automatic gearbox, new headlights, a fancy grille, and made the inside look better. She even came with a V10 engine. During this time, they also made limited edition versions that were so special, they made VIP clubs look ordinary. But the best part was the V10 R8 Plus, which could go from zero to 62 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds. Then in 2016, Audi made the R8 even better with a second generation model. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.